Okay, next driver, driver of the another Stuart Haas um, driver. Yeah. Eric Almarola, he's moving over, right? From Petty to uh, to Stuart Haas, he's going to be driving the tin car that he's taking over the car that Danica drove. Yeah, take, taking over that tin car. He, and he took his sponsor with him when he went over from Petty to. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Richard, Richard Petty and Smithfield got to got got to a little. What do we call a kerfuffle? A kerfuffle. Yes. All right. And uh, a differing of opinion where um, uh, Richard Petty was still back in the fifties doing handshake deals. Got to write that stuff down. Man. You got you got to get it Come down on. on paper, right? It's a new age. So, but but anyway, let's let's get back to Eric Almirola. Okay. okay. So it, he, he's been racing for ten years. Yeah, full time since twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got one win. He, he won. We were actually there. We were there. 2014. Um, Saw it live and in person. Yeah, it was rain short in Daytona, um, Coke Zero 400 in July 2014. Mm -hmm. So last year he finished 29th, but he didn't race the full season. We were there for the reason why for that too. Yeah, it was scary. In uh, May he got in a bad wreck at Kansas yes. and had to be airlifted out with a broken back. With a, bro with a broken back and some numbness in his, um, in his, ext in his, in his extremities. Um, thank, thank God, thank goodness he was okay. Yeah, it was, and, it was scary there. Yeah, he was, he, he was, he was out of, he was out of the car for what, about six, six, races? six races where, um, uh, Bubba Wallace took over for four, him on four of those races. Yeah, yeah. On, yeah, on four and we'll, 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 we'll get to Bubba later, but uh, so, get back to um, Eric. Yeah. So he, uh, he, Finished 29th last year with three top th fives and uh, six top tens. Yeah. Um, his average finish was 18.8, .8, which is pretty good. Yep. Um, he won, um, well, we already talked about what he won, but. Um, I mean, there's not really a lot to say about this guy. There's not much to say. I mean, do, do, do we, I mean we, we can look at, it. hey, look, he, he should perform, he should have performed better, okay? Yeah. And, and I, but I will say this, once he came back. He performed. He performed a little better than what he, than what he had, had had been racing, and I don't know if some of that was due to what happened in that car while he was gone, which was some pretty good things. Yeah. Uh, with the drivers that was piloting it, um, and then also I think with NASCAR with uh, with Eric Almirola, something I didn't know until I um, saw a story was that uh, that Eric Almirola is, is actually Cuban. Right. Uh, yeah. We saw. It, was it sixty minutes? Maybe yeah. Um, um, yeah. It was on one of these one of these shows. Uh, but anyway, he yeah he's he's Cuban born, and you would think that you know NASCAR talking about diversity, you know, and, and inclusion that 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 they would that they would have actually let us know that, um, but um, they really have haven't really played on that. Uh, but um, he has a lot to prove moving into this ten car. He's going to be in some better equipment than he was. Um, but over with Richard Petty Motorsports. Um, Let's see if he can get it done. And he needs to get it done. I'll have a lot more to say about him next up. All right, so this next driver, I, I always get confused when guys have, like, when their first and last name or first name. So, he like, he's a poet. Is his name William Byron or Byron William? Is, is there a comma somewhere? <laughs> it's William Byron. It's William Byron. He's driving a 24 car, not the 9 car, now it's a 24 car. And he's driving for um, Hendrick Motorsports and Chevy. And Darian Grubb's going to be his crew chief. Yeah, yeah, that, that guy's season, season guy, season champion. And so we're getting into the rookies now, so there's not a, a much material on these guys. This is going to be their first year in the Cup Series, um, and he uh, he's going to be 20 years old, so he's a young one. Yeah. Um, he was the 2017 Xfinity Series champion, Yeah. so that, that gives you a little something to say about him. Um, and he finished fifth in the Truck Series in 2016. So across the two lower series, he has 11 wins um, in in the few years that he's raced there. He's raced three years in those series. Okay, so look, so this right he this guy right here is a, is a probably like a um, is a poster child for kind of what Kyle Busch was talking about with these new drivers and them getting a lot of pub without having a lot of provenance behind them, and he's one of them. William Byron does have a lot of car talent, right? So we've we've seen him on the track um, in, in truck series and Xfinity. But can you get it done? Can you, you beat the big boys? Yeah, you were, you were, you're, you're stepping into the fire here, buddy. And um, there's almost going to be like a, a, a target on your back a little bit, right. right? So you got, you got to be ready to rumble. I mean, this kid is what is he, 21 years old or something? 20? Yeah, he'll, he'll be, he's 20. He'll be 21. He'll be 20 the whole yeah, because he doesn't the turn entire season. He's, yeah, he's going to be 20 years old. So we're going to see if he's ready for this. Um, and he's he's with he's with a team that has a lot of resources. We can see if he can take advantage of it. Yep. Got Next. anything else to say? Next mm -hmm. driver. 
All right, folks, next driver, driver of the iconic 43 car. Richard Petty Blue. Yeah, STP, Richard Petty Blue. Um, Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr. That's right. He, um, his um, crew chief's going to be um, Drew Blickenstarfer, who he was um, crew chief for him in his um, four races in the 43 while Eric Almirola was out. They have moved over. Um, from Ford over to, to Chevy. Chevy, so and and they'll be sharing an alliance with, with Richard Childress Racing, which is why they have ECR engines. Um, let's talk about Bubba Wallace for a minute. Go okay. ahead. So he ha has only ran four races last year, as he said when he filled in for Eric, um, and he has no top fives or top tens. But his average start was twenty two point five, and his average finish was seventeen point eight with his best finish last year being 11th place at Kentucky. And I will say, we paid close attention to him as he was driving and filling yes, in did. for Eric. Yes, we did. And every week, he finished higher and higher every week. And and like I said, finished 11th at Kentucky is really good. And he survived Talladega, or uh, the Coke. The Coke, Coke, Coke Zero Four. 400. I mean, yes. he survived all the melee that goes on there. Yeah, so so and, and so and here's the thing with, with Bubba Wallace, okay? So... It, it, I, I like to see talent rewarded in the sport, and, and last year I believe that Bubba Wallace got a complete raw deal, but took but did it like a, took it like a gentleman. Yeah, the issue is like he was running in the Xfinity Series full time last year, as he had for a couple years, and he was in fourth place in standing, and couldn't get a sponsorship, and that's why when we have all these fights about all these other drivers who have no talent who are getting sponsorships and this guy is running fourth in contention for the championship and can't get sponsorship we have a problem with that uh, hey i i'll 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 go on the limb and say it i'm looking at it was roush finway racing that that he was with um at, in xfinity when he when they ran out of sponsorship but yet still they could still find sponsorship for another xfinity car that was that was not that was not performing as well as him and yeah, two drivers um, up in the Cup Series that I could arguably say that he's better than. Yeah. Um, and I guess time will tell. We're gonna just gonna tell this season because he's gonna be running full time. But um, this guy's a heck of a driver. Let's look at let, let let's look at his Truck Series career. His Truck Series. I mean, he was three years there. He had forty five races with six wins. But, I mean, there's many drivers who've had that many races that we've already talked about that don't have that many wins. Right. Then so he goes five years in Xfinity case. So he had eighty five races. He didn't have any wins, but he had six top fives and he had thirty five top tens. Thirty five top tens. And I don't want to make excuses for him, but but with those Xfinity cars, he he was he was running he was running you know those Roush Roush power and and they weren't they were not stout if we can say that he was making some things happen. I'm very happy. For for Daryl Bubba Wallace and I am going to be rooting for him. And I'm going to tell you guys something. If you guys want a driver with personality, a, a driver that that's going to inter, interact on on social media and be fun with his with his best friend Ryan Blaney. Those two knuckleheads together are going to the, entertain us. This this kid is infectious. His his personality is infectious, and he has the right attitude. I'm looking for big things from Bubba Wallace. I think I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna make a prediction. Here's my crazy prediction. My first one. Uh oh, let me write it down. First crazy prediction. First crazy prediction. Is, is, good, is, is that um Darrell Wallace is gonna win a race before Chase Elliott wins a race or any of these any of the other rookies. I wrote it down. Hey, and here's the thing. I watched Wada, watched him eat pizza for like five minutes because he was so entertaining eating pizza. Ink it in gold. Oh, ink it in gold. All it's right. Cam Newton. <laughs> we're not gonna let the cat out the hat. That's another one. All right, <laughs> Bubba Wallace, we're rooting for you guys. Jump on board with that forty-three car, Bubba. Hey, next driver. All right, y'all. Next driver, Alex Bowman. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, everybody. Hold, hold on. Where are my pearls? I need to close oh, them. Do you have the papers? Oh, I got the papers, honey. <laughs> he is taking over the eighty-eight car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. No one should take over for Dale Jr. Nobody. Nobody. Who's crew chief's going to be? I'm Craig Ives. Oh. Henry Motorsports, of course. 
was, he, he was previously at BK Racing. Um, he did do some spot fill in duty um, for uh, for Dale Earnhardt Jr. when he was out with his concussions, right? In, in 2016. So he didn't race in 2017, and he only raced a few races in 2016. Um, and so we'll give you some of those numbers, which is uh, in 2016 he had zero wins, zero top fives, three top tens. Okay. And uh, yeah, so th there's not much data on this young guy. Um, he is taking over some really big shoes to the fans. Now, if you wanted to be honest, it doesn't have to do much to keep up with Dale Jr. in his <laughs> meritocracy. You know what I'm saying there? You know what I'm saying? Listen, this guy, listen, Dale Earnhardt Jr., I love Dale, okay? And I think he's going to be great in the booth. Great in the booth. But I really don't believe that his heart was fully in it the last two seasons. I think he was looking, thinking about his health, and was like, I got to get out of here. Well, you saw him get that concussion when he was test driving. It's, it's in 2013. I saw him get that first con concussion in Kansas. He, he, he blow, blows the tire, you know, going into Smacks three. The wall. And I mean, just pounds the wall. And I mean, listen. We are looking at long-term health over anything, right? Absolutely. And you can't tell me any human would be doing that. No. Now, you know, Alex Bowman is going to be stepping into this ride, and it's going to be interesting to see how he performs and if the level goes up from what whatever whatever the level was with uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm not going to compare him at all. Dale Earnhardt Jr. stands stands alone. Alex Bowman, I really don't think. Okay, so the, the shoes are big to fill, but I mean, if he, if he puts on two pairs of socks, he'll be good. I mean, but, I Okay, so here's the thing, though. He yeah. has run uh, part-time. Right. And, uh, and so he has um, just his average finish is 30th. Whew. Yeah, and, and, and here's and So the, maybe with better equipment. But I don't know. I mean, you, if, if you look at his Xfinity and Truck Series, right, so he has... He has 54 races down down in that series, and he only has one win. Yeah. So, like, this is going to be interesting to see why why um, uh, Rick Hendrick went with um, Alex Bowman, and maybe they know something we don't know. Well, he, maybe, it, maybe it could be like maybe it could be like a Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, because he did a lot of their testing. Yes. 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 I mean, he, so he's been in their equipment. They hold him in, in, in high yeah. esteem. For and so, sure. hey, obviously Hendrick's motorsports know what they're doing. Maybe. Maybe. All right. That's Alex Bowman for you.